again, it applies to each institution. And I'm going to add some, what's different here from the prior uh, slides, a little bit of the lessons learned in some of this. Each IHE that receives an award or a funding amendment on an existing award is, um, is, has to comply with this requirement. Now, what's different from this is that, yes, it is an annual institutional requirement, not a proposal award by award. It's one for the institution. And I have deliberately included the language um, on uh, this slide because the words are very, very important. And again, some of these slides I'm going to cover really quickly so that I can focus here on what you need to take home. In accordance with Section 10339B, at NSF, we just call it 10339B, Foreign Financial Support of Chips and Science Act of 2022, each recipient institution of higher education must annually report all current financial support, the value of which is 50K or more, including gifts and contracts, received directly, received directly or indirectly from a foreign support that's going to be very important to your understanding of this, which is associated with a foreign country of concern, China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea, as defined in the PAP guide. So we included this in 24-1 uh, and in the terms and conditions. We have learned so much from you all as we've answered question after question after question. This is, we thank you, I'm going to say that multiple times here, for putting us forward those questions because it's helped improve our knowledge of this. So, FFDR, each, let's, let's define who has to report because there continues to be confusion on do I have to report or don't I? Each institution that receives direct NSF funding must submit an institutional report annually. Yes, we require negative reports, but we have gotten a lot of compliments from those that do have to submit negative reports because it's a couple of questions, bam, and you've submitted your report. So, do you see direct NSF funding? So, if you are a main campus with sub-campuses, satellite campuses, branch campuses, we've heard all kinds of terms, the bottom line is they are not receiving direct funding. So you, as the main campus, must report on behalf of all of your campuses. There's been some confusion. They don't get an NSF grant. They don't get the term and condition that invokes this. So I want people to lean clearly on that. You have to, again, report any gift or contract cumulative value of 50K or more per source from a country of concern. Now, we say in the term and condition, we say in the PAP guide, July 31st. When you go into the screen, we gave you a one-time good deal. We call it a grace period. Till September 3rd. Important because we realize this is extremely complicated reporting. And we knew the first year was going to be challenging. So uh, we have, for the first year, changed that to a due date of September 3rd, 2024. We also, right now, that's this year, we know in the future we're going to consider that date. I'm going to say that multiple times too. We have heard from many institutions that it may not be the best time to require annual reporting. So, we hear you loudly and clearly. So, you have to maintain copies of records just like everything else. And I would, in this particular context, document, 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 like you do everything else. Um, we can re request copies of contracts, agreements, or documentation. More often than that, not, that little request might come from an NSF, NSF office called the Office of the Inspector General if they believe additional information is required. We've also received lots of questions on I'm, an, I'm not an IHE. Do I have to report? No. But there are some complexities with NSF awardees that folks are still asking that question. And so we work with you if there is any ambiguity one-on-one -on -one, to determine whether or not you meet this requirement. And we have addressed every single one of the questions that we've received. 
there's also a new term and condition regarding this as well. Next, next uh, piece that I'd like to cover about this. This is a timing. There's also been some confusion here. Um, the period that you're reporting on is July 1st, 2023 to June 30, 2024. And so we've gotten comp questions from, from institutions that said, I got an NSF award, but I didn't get any notice from NSF. Well, the reason was because it was outside of the reporting period. So you will report. You just don't report in 24, you report in 25. 